I have fallen behind on defrosting my chest freezer. It is getting so much ice spilled up around the top edges that it doesn't want to seal when I close it. So I can't put it off any longer. It's time to defrost. I haven't defrosted it since we moved here over a year ago, so I'm going to show you how I do this quickly. I have no light over here in the corner, so I apologize if the video is dark. Fill a large pot with water, bring it to a boil, and depending on the size of the freezer, you may need more than one pot of water. My freezer is small, so one pot will work just fine. Don't forget to unplug the freezer. This is a very important step, so don't forget that. Empty all contents from the freezer, and this isn't going to take long, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. So now that I've got everything removed, the ice buildup isn't as bad as I thought it was. It is just the top half of the freezer, and at this point, I place the pot of water in the bottom of the freezer. I close the lid, and I wait 15 minutes. Okay, I got busy with something else, so it's been about 25 minutes. But look at that. All the ice melted, and it's in the bottom of the freezer. Typically, there is some ice remaining, and I just have to use an ice scraper to remove it. At this point, you can place your freezer somewhere where you can drain it. There is a drain on all freezers. Or if you're like me and you don't have the strength to move a freezer, you can use a towel to get up the water and ice on the bottom. There's not that much in a small freezer. So I've just got an old towel, and I'm just removing the ice, and I'm going to soak up the water. Also take this time to wipe the inside of the freezer clean. Here's some of the ice I removed from the bottom. Once you have it all cleaned up, then plug it back in and start placing your food back in the freezer. This is a great opportunity to inventory what you have in your freezer. Make a list and each time you remove something, check it off the list. Or each time you add something, place it on the list. Also take the time to date all my food that goes into the freezer. So I make sure I put the newest foods on bottom and the oldest on top. And this works for any type of freezer. We have one of those mini dorm size fridge freezers that my husband keeps in his man cave for his snacks. So he asked if I would defrost it. And it was the same process. I just used a smaller container of hot water. His was super iced over. So I had to use the ice scraper to get the ice off. But it was easy because it was melting thanks to the hot water. I hope you find this quick and easy freezer defrost helpful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more helpful tips, do-it-yourself projects, bird videos, and drool-worthy human and doggy treats. Y'all have a blessed day.